Can you hear me? Can you hear? You can hear me now. Okay, perfect. Jesus Christ. <sighs> All right. So, as I was sitting there talking to myself for 20 freaking minutes, um, somehow I muted all mics. <clears throat> um, so <laughs> that was a good battle there for the poll uh, between Tykangus, DB the Best, and Free Willy. Uh, it was going back and forth between the three of them. At one point, uh, Free Willy was sitting between the two uh, Red Bull cars, first and third. And then I believe right there at the last minute, Free Willy ended up getting the poll or getting the first starting position. I don't know how Hayden wants me to say it because he doesn't like me calling it pit road. He wants me calling it pit lane. <laughs> so free Willie on the pole tonight in the final race of the season here in the E racing pro series on F one 22. And guys, stay tuned to all of our social media channels tonight because we are doing the draft. So this season is over. Depending on where you finish in points, you get to pick your team for next year. So there's going to be some shakeups in constructors for next season. And speaking of constructors, constructor standings are close, but I believe with this qualifying effort and what these guys can do, I have a feeling... I got a feeling. Ooh. Okay, Red Bull has a five-point lead over Williams right now. Um, Williams has a 22-point, wait, 27-point lead over Mercedes. Alfa Romeo's out of it. So it's really going to come down to the Williams and the Red Bull teams tonight for the constructor standings. These guys are going to be racing their guts out, and Red Bull is winning that fight at the moment by starting second and third with 20. 59 laps here at, I'm going to let you say it. What's the name of the track? Uh, Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. <laughs> One of my favorite races and the race where I began my broadcasting career here with the E-Racing Pro Series. I have a special place in my heart here for Abu Dhabi. Uh, my first broadcast for them was their season finale last season. So I have learned a lot about... <laughs> These little jet planes with wheels. <laughs> Still have a lot to learn, so. <laughs> the next season. Oh, good! You're broadcasting next season. Fantastic! So I can race. Yay! <laughs> I don't know if I'm quite ready for broadcasting on my own, or at least leading it. But we'll see. We'll get there. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, wait, you know, I'm you're not probably not from the south. We say ma'am to everybody. I'm sorry. That was very oh, I've I've been in the Midwest for five years. I've gotten used to it. <laughs> huh. Someone said check the Red Bull budgets. I mean, it is kind of something you do have to check these days. All right, so Free Willy getting a good jump here at the start. Put Free Willy out front. He's getting chased quickly by Ty Kangas. Man, Willy jumped out to a Hayden-style lead. Hell yeah. Uh, Hayden's a ninth. I'm really confused by that, actually. Hayden told us last week he was not qualifying, so he just chilled. Yeah. But still, I mean, new for me. Usually the only people like... that out qualified, that uh, Hayden out qualified, were the two people who got disqualified during qualifying. Fair. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> new to me. All right, so we're going to, that's our big lead right there. So put Free Willy, one of our newer guys out front, Ty Kankis in second, getting chased hard by Zach in that, that Ferrari right there. You got DB the best chasing down Zach. DB trying to get those construction standings. Wants to get both Red Bull cars on the podium tonight. And then old Paul Gonzalez, who uh, you guys got to ride along with in qualifying today with our split screen, with our audio difficulties.
maybe racing next year. Oh. Oh no, King C dot. Old Cliff got spun. So C dot spinning in the back of the pack. As Willie is up to a second and a half lead over Ty. And you got Zach. Running third. A DB to baddest. Running fourth. Paul running fifth. Hayden up to sixth. And he is bringing some friends with him. You got Mike Ar Harvick up to seventh. Crash is back to eighth. And Dameron starting to work up his way a little bit after falling back to the back. Starting to move up. He's up in ninth. But Zach is... Catching was catching Ty Kangas. Do you see any good battles that you're uh, you're looking at right now? No, not yet. Um, uh, Hayden and Paul, but I mean. So Hayden and Paul, Paul and Hayden. And. Free Willy has got the fastest lap. That is all three laps in a row. Free Willy has been the fastest. And DRS engaged this lap. So look for some guys. Oh, as oh. Hayden and Paul is coming out of the corner. And DB to best spins. I don't think Hayden like me calling him out on a B and ninth. <laughs> oh, and DB spins again. Oh, no. What? What? What is going on with DB's car? No. Oh, Lord. Okay, so I believe Abu Dhabi had a big change in the configuration of the track uh, as we get a safety car here uh, on lap number three, which is where my story was headed. Last season, uh, because we do the draft after this race, the rule was if you're out of the race, you have to get in the broadcast booth because it was my first broadcast. And so he wanted, DB wanted whoever fell out to come in here and help me out. We had more guys in the broadcast booth at the end of the race than actually finishing the race. <laughs> I'm not lying. That is it, how that it went. It might be that way tonight because, I mean, I was hanging out during practice and I'm just going to say that I don't think I've seen as many people spin out as I did today. Yeah, and see, I was told that Abu Dhabi had a, a facelift this season. Took out a really hard corner or something like that. Something close to that, but what do I know? I'm just a broadcaster. All right, so safety car is... That was a quickie. I haven't seen a safety car that quick all season. Was that a safety car, or was that just all three sectors were yellow? I have no idea. I wasn't paying attention to the safety car. I was skipping through everybody. Sorry. That was that was crazy. All right, so crash around. DB in the pits, out of the pits, and getting on with his life. Free Willy extending his lead. He's got a two-second lead over Ty Angus. Ty Angus, another two-second lead over Zach. Zach, another two-second lead over Hayden. And Hayden and Paula right there together. So Hayden's starting to pull away from Paul. 
Harvick about three seconds back from, from Paul. C dot about six seconds back from Harvick. Jamron about eight seconds back from C dot. Turner about two seconds back from Dameron. Crash about three seconds back from Turner and DB the best riding around on the back about 20 seconds off everybody else. And that is how they run right now. But Ty Kangas is catching him. Have you seen that? Seen what? Ty Gangus is starting to close in on Willie just a little bit. Yeah. Hayden's catching up to uh, Zach as well. Out. So, Willie in the pits, Willie out of the pits, Tykangus in the lead. As we complete lap number six of 29 here at Abu Dhabi. We're going to ride along with our leader here in the Red Bull car, Ty Kangas. Six second lead over Zach. And Zach's got that three second lead over Gonzalez, who got around Hayden. And he's put three seconds between them. Lord, why the hell am I yawning? I slept a lot today. Crash is not having a good time trying to get back on the track. <clears throat> he must be new to this. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Willie trying to close in on his teammate and a damn good broadcaster, King C Dot. He broadcast a NASCAR race with me a couple weeks ago, and it was phenomenal. Nice. He was a natural dude. I was so impressed. He made me want to retire right then and there. <laughs> I'll have to hit him up for some pointers, Len. I was shocked. I, I wasn't expecting. I mean, I, I didn't know how much he knew about NASCAR, and he's he knows a lot about NASCAR, just as much as he knows F1. I mean, he knows NASCAR pretty damn well. Um, and poor Crash, living up to the name again. That poor dude, man. I feel so bad for him. He did so well during practice too. That's that's the surprising part. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's not the really sucky part, is when you do have such a good car in qualifying, a good car in practice, you get in the race, and just one small thing just rips the front end of your car off. Or in my case, normally it's a big thing that rips the front of my car off, normally like, you know, another car. Mine was um, a big thing smashed in the back of my car into another car, but, you know. Well, something has happened with my settings lately to where when I touch the brake, I have to, like, pump the brakes to, to slow down for a corner. If I just press the brake lightly, I slide through every freaking corner. I don't know if I turned, like, you know, one of my assists off because, you know, I'm not a damn I sound like an awesome, cool, young cat. But that tells you how old I am. I just call myself a young cat. All right. I am old as effing dirt, dude. And I'm not good at this whole left and right. Like, these aren't even road course corners. Like, the corners they have to take in this game are freaking ridiculous. What do you mean you 
you could start a new trend, Tokyo Drift everything. No, I have a lot of respect for anyone who races in the F1 racing leagues because, I mean, I like a good league race, but I, I just, I, I don't even think I can start starting line. Um, and, and Dameron gets me in here all the time to play. All the time. Um, we've got one of them little two-person per careers going, and he's whooping everybody's ass because I made him dumb down the AIs a little bit for me, <laughs> and it made him, like, look like a god. All right, so I've been trying to watch Free Willy move up through the field here, but we're going to go ahead and go back through the field just a little bit. We got DB, who's still trying to make up some ground from that early pit stop. Wolfsburg Turner's back here running ninth. Jay Dameron, um, big news. Jay Dameron going with a big move next week. He's moving in with me. Um, going down to Florida to get him at the end of the week, or was planning on it. Uh, he might be coming up himself with a truck. We're not sure yet, but he's going to be up here. So soon we'll be able to uh, broadcast together in the same room. Uh <laughs> Ty Kangas, <laughs> well, not the same room. He's going to have the room next to me, but um, Ty Kangas still up front, looking to get that win, looking to get Red Bull the Constructor Championship as the Driver Championship has already been stolen. I mean, it's already been won by Hayden. Stolen. Oh, look who's got a penalty. Well, what in the F? He's just trying to give him a fair chance now at this point. Well... Okay, hold on. What's where do I go to see? Three second penalty. So Hayden, when you get up there, you have to win by six seconds, or it's not really a win. <laughs> I mean, if we're right, back so. in Great Britain, I'm pretty sure you know it'd be no problem <laughs> for him. None at all, dude. <laughs> Bit, he did some. He's done some amazing things this week, and. Not only is he such a great driver up here, he's really fun to get to know, talk to. I mean, he's an all-around good guy. He's going to represent the E-Racing Pro Series great as this season's champion in the driver standings. But we still have a constructor standing champion, a constructor championship to hand out tonight. But again, I mean, Hayden, Hayden, what a great champion. Uh, really willing to help other people when they're struggling. Although, I mean, he's one of them guys, I'm not sure that you can put his setup anywhere near your car and run anything close to what he runs. I mean, the dude texts us with his feet and drives with his hands. I mean, I just don't understand how it happens. And he will message just in the middle of the stream. So um, while he has like a 16-second lead, just corner after corner, and he's just sending us text after text. It's crazy. He's using his to drive at that point. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to switch over here. I want to see what, what the old... Tire, tire situation is. Ruh row. Alright, um. Alright, so we've got. Well, this is interesting. So we got DB on hards. Not, I don't think he's going to be able to finish the race on those hards. Not so, unless he's talking to Hayden. Hayden's giving him some pointers. So I know Hayden was talking... I saw Hayden in the stream was talking about hards on qualifying. So, I mean, that might be a good... No, though, he was just BSing because he's sitting there doing donuts because he wasn't qualifying. Um, <laughs> uh, but you've got... So Ty's going to have to pit before Zach and Hayden, obviously. Um, Harvick is going to have to... He can stay out longer. Free Willy just put the mediums on. Dameron just put the softs on. Interesting that he's on softs. DB, I think DB's six lap old hards might work in, in his favor here in about, what, 15 laps? Yeah. I mean, I think during practice, everyone was running on softs, so. Oh. I love this track. It looks like, um, to me, it looks like a, a pair of like girls' boots, but the backs of them have laid back. Or it looks like a knife, like a good handled knife where your finger just fits in that little grip and it sticks in your hand and you can cut somebody with the tip of the tip of the track. I like the way the shape of the track is. As I'm watching the little dots chase each other on the map. 
So I'm in a really hyped, hyped, good freaking mood tonight. I mean, it's like what the one year anniversary for you in a way. So no, not one year. It's only been no, 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 no. Only a couple no, months. No, but I mean like season wise in a way. Uh, sure. Yeah. No, it's Halloween, girl. It's Hall of Frickin' Ween. Dude, I I've lived in like areas for the last like five years where I bought candy and. We don't get trick-or-treaters. Oh, well, so I don't get trick-or-treaters here because all of my freaking neighbors bought their houses like back in the 70s. And they're all – I'm about to get all new neighbors here within the next 10 years. <laughs> um, and so I'm like the youngest guy on the block. And so, I mean, little granny with her cane ain't going to come trick-or-treating in my house. But I still decked the F out of my yard. Like I look like a ha Halloween – like uh, what's his name? Jack Skeleton came and just threw up all over my yard. But you know what? Tomorrow it will all be up and Christmas will start going out. And yeah, we uh, we started taking down the Halloween de decorations at work, and we were like, "All right, so it's too soon for Christmas." No, we like hell, it is. Like Thanksgiving, so we started buying a whole bunch of like fall decorations to put up at work. Okay. Um, some families have you know, uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. We just have two Christmases because <laughs> my house is decked up for Christmas by November 1st. I'll say the 6th. By November 6th. One of my uh, one of my coworkers, her daughter, I'm not even kidding, like July 4th comes and goes and she's like, "All right, so I'll open up the Halloween stuff." Child. Now, we're, we're just getting I, into, like I do love Halloween and you know, this track isn't as scary as it was last season, so Maybe these guys don't know it's Halloween. They should be scared of something. The big knife track that they're racing on. You know, Mike, Michael's coming. <laughs> um, man. As we got a battle for the lead. Zach's got it, but Hayden wants it. And you know how it goes. When Hayden wants something, he gets it. Yeah. So Hayden, from worst to second, trying to go from worst to first, as he was perfecting how to spin donuts in qualifying and forgot to make a lap. But definitely, definitely got the, the practice down for victory donuts. Now... Is, uh, this view right here, we don't get this view often because we don't get to pick what views like the broadcast view is from. It just you just hit broadcast. This far away helicopter view is my favorite view on this game because you can see this right here. You can see Hayden. Oh, close in on Zach. He had to back off or he was going to destroy his wing. But Hayden got such a run out of that corner. Man, th like this is the best view that you can get as in the broadcasting view. Absolutely love it. I would love to be in that helicopter. <laughs> but Hayden with a fast, fast car. And Hayden and Zach both on the same lap uh, tire strategy. So, I mean, there's not, you know, uh, it, neither of them have the advantage over uh, the other. I'm just curious when Hayden's going to decide is, like, the time to take over and get in first. I think that Hayden... Oh, uh, there's 15 to go. I don't see. I mean, Hayden has stretched it out to 20-something laps on hards. I don't think he's going to do it. They're going to have to pit here in the next maybe 10 laps. Well, especially Ooh, with the three-second penalty, he's going to have to have to do something. So. Yeah, all right. And Willie, I mean, Free Willie back in third kind of led the first portion of this race. And uh, there it is. Put old Hayden, our 2022 E Pro Series racing champion, out in front trying to get his billionth win of the season. But he has a long way to go and a lot of time he's got to make up. And that's really weird to say about the leader. I have to make up some time, but he has to get a three second gap and pit. If he wants to win this race with his three-second penalty.
I think it's got the fastest lap with 128.40. And that is going to, if it holds, will help the Red Bull team with their Constructor Championship. So Hayden is stretching it out. We want to watch that battle, and we did. Hayden doing a great job up there in the front. So Zach is not, no. All right, so up to third is Ty Kangas, and he only has two lap old, three lap old tires. And he is on the hards. He's going to run those hards until the end of the race. I think the person sitting in the catbird seat right now is Ty Kangas in that Red Bull Interesting. All right, and about what 12 seconds behind him is Mike RPM or Harvick, excuse me, Harvick right behind him. King C Dot is about eight seconds behind him. Free Willy about six seconds behind him. Gonzalez and Free Willy together. As Free Willy, I thought was it was sitting in the the old catbird seat there uh, when he got off pit road the last time, but he's already made his second pit stop of the race and drop him back to sixth. With old Paul Gonzalez running there seventh. DB not able to make up much of that ground from his double spin earlier here at Abu Dhabi. Yoshi, did I lose you? No, I'm still here. I'm clicking through. And Wilford just spun out. <laughs> and Dameron in and out of the pits. And Wolfsburg back going on the track. As Hayden up to a five and a half second lead. But Zach. Zach is falling. Oh, he's in the pits. Perfect. Zach in the pits. And who does that move up? Nobody, nobody better than Ty, 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 Ty Kangas. Up to second, five seconds behind Hayden, and he should start to close in on him, and he is. As Ty has four lap old tires, Hayden has 16 lap old tires, and we have 14 to go. All right, I feel like Ty needs to lay back for like two laps. He's got a great, great amount of space between him and Harvick. I, I feel like 18 laps is going to be pushing it. So he might want to just lay low here for a lap or two. Don't wear a lot of his tires now because he's going to want them at the end of this thing. Hayden is uh, only a 1.9 seconds ahead of him with his three-second penalty. And I believe Hayden still is going to have to pit. I don't believe Hayden's going to be able to stretch these uh, hards all the way out to the end of the race. So Ty looking for the win. I mean, it's a great opportunity, you know, being one point, only 1.8 seconds back from where Hayden is with that, that penalty. So, I mean, just kind of relax for a minute. You're, you have a 15-second lead over the guy in third. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Or do you not have a comment at all? No, I, I think <laughs> I agree. Although, I think Hayden's trying to prove a point that he's going to win with more than three seconds so and, and not pit I, I don't know I've seen Hayden do some new things so 
Oh, Willie gets a – Zach gets a DNF, and Willie gets a five-second penalty on pit row, pit lane. So Ty now has a 35-second lead over third place. Bro, I would be creeping. I think he kind of is right now. Yep. Speaking of creeps, Hayden up front with a five and a half second lead. Does he not in a safety car? And Hayden hit it. So it's high. Right, red line with Harvick as he is trying to get back up there with Ty and Hayden before the end of this safety car. Get him some much needed spots and gain 35 seconds that he was behind. He is there, so put Harvick.
All right, so everybody has caught up. We're going to jump on board with Hayden and see how the master does his restart. Maybe he's definitely used that uh, safety card to his advantage. Yep. So Hayden out front. He's got Ty, Harvick, and DB the best. If DB the best in fourth can stay within three seconds of Hayden, that'll drop Hayden back to fourth place here with eight laps to go. Did DB spin? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure I clicked onto him like right after he spun out and he was getting back on the track. Harvick up to third, not really closing on Hayden, not really falling back from Hayden, uh, but staying within that three-second bracket that he's looking for, but barely.
So Mike is closing it in that third position or staying there with him. Start to this. Five laps to go. All Ty has to do is stay within three seconds of Hayden, and he's going to win this race. So put Ty right there, Ty. Just don't, don't overdo it, buddy. Just stay right there with him. You can win this race, man. So Jay Dameron also has a penalty. DB to best up to sixth. He's very far behind Harvick, but Harvick just gets passed by Gonzalez. Could boot Paul Gonzalez up to fourth. C dot up to third. So Ty staying within that three second bracket, four to go. Gonzalez up to fourth, Harvick fifth, DB to best sixth. There's really no any, not many battles going on right now, except trying to see who can stay three seconds away from Hayden. Hayden's slowly pulling away right now. So. He is up to three seconds. No. <laughs> All right. King C dot looks like he with no penalty or no trouble here might end up finishing third here. I've started commentating with you. This is the most DNFs I've, I've been.
got two laps to go, and, and Ty's just over three seconds behind Hayden, so. Yeah. Might have a battle for fourth. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jake DNF'd. Is that going to bring out a safety car? Is there enough lap left for a safety car? No, there's not. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, your 2022 E-Racing Pro Series champion, Hayden Rogers, coming around last corner to get the win, and that's that for the season. Boys and girls, thanks for joining us. It's been quite the ride this season. Looking forward to many more. We'll be much more prepared next season. I promise you that. I am going to an F1 training camp this season. I'll go with you. <laughs> Okie doke. Are you driving or am I? Oh, no, I am. Never mind. That's a dumb I question to ask say, you. I that was... You sure? Nope. 100%. I value my life. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I've only been in like 50 accidents, okay? 50? Just 50. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I should become an auto body guy. All right. Oh, Ty, man, I wanted you to stay within three seconds of him. So damn bad, dude. Yeah, Hayden's so good at battery deployment. I mean, every time I wasn't deploying the battery, he was, and he was able to pull the gap on me. That safety yeah. car really gave him an advantage yeah i saw that and with your tires you 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 were the gonna be the winner of this race because he was gonna have to pit right he, yeah yeah i, I, I mean to, you I you to, you were there yeah i tried <clears> to manage the tires the best i could and you know get a good gap but safety car came off yeah well i mean congratulations i think that does does that give you guys the constructor championship well we were up by five and I don't know where DB ended up. Uh, he DNF'd. But I think he might still get points if he's in the top ten. He, he was. He was. What did he get? Um, Eighth or seventh? Okay, so it'll be close, that's for sure. Um, I think Hayden went on a tiebreaker, but if, if 
DB was able to pull out maybe four points. I think we'd hang on to it. Not sure. Well, congratulations on a second place finish. Good podium for you tonight to end the season. Uh, are you ready for the draft? Are you planning any big plans to leave Red Bull? Well, we'll I think I'm maybe fifth in the drivers, so we'll see how it shakes out. But okay. I wouldn't mind uh, sticking with EB and Red Bull, but we'll see what happens. Nice. Yeah, you had a pretty decent season there. And old CDOT, how you doing, man? Oh, man, I'm doing great. Is this your first podium? Yeah, my first podium of the year. Hell yeah. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, man. You had a fast little hot rod there towards the end of that race. Yeah, uh, it was nice. to kind of. I kind of found the car late. Uh gambled on a strategy and it kind of paid off and it put me up there with a late safety car so yeah you know we kind of i had a join late and we had a long season so it's it's really nice to end the season on a high note man so looking forward to next season hell yeah hell yeah and i don't know if hayden made it in here or not hayden yeah. no okay well we've talked with him enough this season and I'll go ahead and tell you what he'll say. But this is how it would sound on the broadcast. Yeah, beep, beep, oh, oh. beep, 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 And that's Hayden's interview, ladies and gentlemen. What? Hold on, what? <laughs> What's up, man? You're roasting me again with Dino. <laughs> I said... Hey, good race, Hayden. I said Hayden's interviews go a little bit like this. It was a great race, and that beep, beep, and beep, 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 beep. <laughs> man congratulations on your like umpteenth win of the season congratulations on winning the championship like five races ago uh are you ready for the draft i i am any plans for any big moves uh no me and zach have talked and we're gonna stick together okay. the right call all right well but we're going to be changing teams for sure, like definitely different colors next season. Oh my gosh, I like you in the blue. It's not going to be blue next season, I'll tell you that now. It's going to be red? Is that what it's going to be? I'm not, I'm not telling you. You have to find out next season, boys. contract in the talks, in the works. Well, well, the draft is right now, isn't it? Uh, I think after Daniel sorts all the points out, I think. Hmm. Draft will probably be in a couple of days. Um. Okay. Well, we'll I guess we'll reconvene in a couple of days and let you know who's racing where and who's not racing and who's new, who's old, and all that other stuff, guys. Thank you so much for a great season here. Next season's going to be much better. We're getting some upgraded equipment. Our our audio was just a little off with Twitch tonight, but we're going to get that fixed before the season starts, and next season's going to be even better, and we're going to have a full field ready to go here in just a couple weeks. I say less than a month, we'll be back going. So, is that about right? Less than a month? I think I wish, so. Wish DB was yep. in here that answered all these questions I got. <laughs> DB just keeps spinning, bro. It's, and he's calling so it has been a lot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this stream for tonight. We'll catch you guys in a couple weeks. Stay looking at our social media pages to find out when we will be back. Thank you to the nine viewers we had tonight at one point. Uh, everybody have a good evening. Oh. Oh, my bad. My bad. And thank you so much to Yoshi for uh, being someone that I could just throw words at and get a hell yeah from her. All right. We'll catch you guys next season.